Trusting in God pod. All streaming platform walking through this valley, valley, but I'm not alone. Trusting in God, this world is not my home. No, in this battlefield, I'm not afraid. Got on the full armor of God, I got it made. The need God with all in my heart, mind, body, and soul. I'd rather have Jesus than have silver and gold. And all your ways acknowledge Him. He'll make your path straight. God is always on time. Yeah, He'll never be late. Trust in God, yeah, that's the master key. Jesus is the one who set the captives free. So I keep my faith, yeah, yeah. I keep it strong and pure. With God as my God, yep, any storm I can endure. Trust in God, yeah, that's the only way. He lights up my past, turn my nights to day. Trust in God, no matter what. The cost with the Bible in my hand, I will never be lost. No, here's the message. Yep, clear and loud. Yep, stand firm in your faith, faith. stand tall and proud. Trusting in God, I let Him lead the way. With Jesus in my heart, I'll never go astray. Hallelujah. Trusting in God podcast. Tune in every day. We on all all streaming platforms. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Answering the call. In a world filled with distractions and fleeting pursuits, there exists a higher calling for each of us. A call to serve a purpose greater than ourselves, to be vessels of God's love and truth. If you feel a stirring within your soul, a yearning to work for the Lord, I urge you, to run towards that assignment with unwavering determination. There is no time to waste. Embrace the urgency. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. The world desperately needs the light of Christ, and God is calling you to be a beacon. Don't hesitate or delay. Seize the opportunity to make a difference. Equip yourself with God's word. Pick up your Bible and immerse yourself within its pages. It is your sword of the spirit, your guidebook for life, and the source of wisdom and strength. Ephesians 6 and 17 says, Study it diligently, meditate on its truth, and allow it to transform your heart and mind. Seek God's guidance in prayer. Prayer is our lifeline to the Almighty God. In prayer, we communicate with God, pour out our hearts and receive his guidance and direction for everything in life. Ask him to reveal his specific plan for your life, to open doors of opportunity and to empower you for the task ahead. Discover your unique calling. God has wired each one of us with unique gifts and talents. He has a specific role for you to play in his kingdom. As you seek his guidance, he will reveal your divine assignment. It may be preaching, teaching, serving, leading, creating, or simply being a faithful witness in your daily life. You are empowered for the ministry. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. God promises to equip and empower those who are called to serve him. He will give you the words to speak, the wisdom to lead, and the strength to persevere. Trust in his faithfulness and step out in faith. We are all created to be evangelists, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with the whole world that's in need. Matthew 28 and 19 through 20. Let us answer the call with courage and conviction. Let us rise up as a generation of passionate, spirit-filled believers who are making a lasting impact for the kingdom of God. Now, all the new leaders that are going to be on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all the other different media outlets that's out there, I want to say a prayer for everyone. Heavenly Father, we lift up those who are stepping out into new roles of leadership within your church. 
We pray that you will fill them with your Holy Spirit and that you would give them wisdom, discernment, and courage. May they not be looking for money, but just to preach your word, Father God. May they lead with humility, integrity, and compassion. May they be faithful stewards of the message that you have entrusted to them. And may they always seek to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, the time is now. Don't delay. Run towards your divine assignment with passion and purpose. Let us be people who say, here I am, Lord. Send me.